Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guests have revelation from heaven that'll make you the devil's worst nightmare as you navigate these end times. Next. Get ready for heaven to invade the earth. Join Sid Roth and three powerful voices, Kevin and Kathy Zadai and Mike Thompson for this Releasing Heaven Now TV event. On this program, you will learn that we, believers in Jesus as our Messiah and Lord, can pray from a vantage point from heaven itself since we are seated in heavenly places with Jesus. Nothing is impossible when you learn how to pray from heaven. All of the promises of God are yes. These three powerful voices will reveal words that God has given them to help you be ready to overcome every obstacle that has kept you from receiving the promises of God in your life. And now, here's your host, Sid Roth. Hello, Kevin Zandai here. And uh, I don't think I have to introduce him. He's been a guest many times. But when he told me what he was working on, I said, you got to come back. He is teaching and demonstrating and praying impartations of holy fire. That begs the question, what is holy fire? <laughs> well, said, I saw in heaven that there was a lot of fire, and God's really into fire. And, excuse me, for those of you that haven't seen Kevin before, he's minding his own business with a dentist's hand and drill inside of his mouth, and he dies and goes to heaven. And many experiences that he has had were downloaded into him from heaven. That's why his teaching is so different than most, but biblically consistent. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I encountered this fire, Sid, and I didn't know exactly when I would be able to release all this. So for many years, I didn't even share these experiences I had. But since I've met you, I've, I've released now to do this. What I saw in heaven was that there was altars of fire. The angels were on fire. And then I saw that there was a sapphire floor that was on fire as well. So holy fire is actually something that's in heaven and that we've encountered on the earth through the day of Pentecost, through the Holy Spirit. It's part of the baptism of the Holy Spirit is a baptism of fire. Well, that's, it says you will be baptized in the book of Acts with the Holy Spirit uh, and fire. Yes. Now, I have interviewed a lot of people over the years that have major miracle ministries and they say when the fire of God came on them, they were activated into miracle ministries. Is this the same fire that you're talking about? Yes, except um, that Jesus instructed me that if I came back that I would have to teach people how to permanently walk in it, not just to be in and out of it. And it has to do with our ability to obey God's voice, put ourselves in an environment that is conducive for maturity, which means that we're going to have to live the crucified life. If you notice, the message of the crucified life is not taught as much anymore. It's not a popular message, but the Lord told me, go back and make it popular again. Well, make well holiness. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 says, if you will confess Jesus as Savior, and a lot of people don't realize that is next two words, and Lord. Uh, what does Lord mean? To you. Well, Lord, I saw in heaven was relationship. So, as and, and I saw that in heaven, uh, when I was there, He showed me many things, and He showed me that there was positional through the blood of Jesus, what He had done on the cross. We have a position with Him, but there was also relationship as well. So there was relational holiness, which is when we choose to come out from among the people and be separate, and say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live an upright life in Christ Jesus, to yield to the Spirit to where we walk in the fear of the Lord. These are all things the Lord said are gonna be brought back into the body of Christ. Yeah, I, you know, it's almost hard to believe because as a Jewish person that came to the Lord at 30, I, I didn't have religion beyond Judaism. I just had the Bible and it was so clear. How did something so clear get so different in, 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 in here in, in Christianity. 
Well, see, that, that, see, that was uh, the reason I told Jesus when he told me I was coming back. I said, I don't want to come back because this realm down here is so slow. And if, if, if you're left to yourself, you get in trouble. I mean, I told him that. I said, you, you know, if you're left to yourself, we... And he showed me how every three chapters in Genesis, man left to himself got in trouble. Every three chapters, uh, things started happening. And so he, he said, Kevin, you got to teach people how to yield to the fire and walk in the fire. It's, it's walking in repentance. I can't believe I just used that word. You did. It's, that's not a word that's often <laughs> spoken. It's spoken, you know, when it is spoken. It, it is spoken when you get saved, repent of your sins, and you'll be forgiven. But then it's kind of like out of the vocabulary, the rest of someone's walk. Exactly. But, so, I, but I can tell you, if I didn't live in instant repentance, I wouldn't be right here. That's yeah. a fact. Amen. So Jesus said uh, to produce fruit, in keeping with repentance. So somebody's wrong here. I don't think Jesus is wrong. So I'm going to keep with <laughs> repentance. I'm going to produce my fruit, but I'm also going to keep with repentance. I'm going to stay in there. And uh, it's just like when an angel, like, like an angel just showed up right now. He just showed up behind me right now. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, this is for right real. Right now, yeah, this is okay. for real. I don't do fake. Okay. No, I didn't do fake. <laughs> no, I, I thought you were telling me a story. I know. <laughs> and... And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, now everything shifts. The message that I'm speaking shifts from where I speak shifts. My perception shifts. I am speaking from the other realm right this minute. And it's all because something from the other realm, someone, a person, an angel came from the fire in heaven and he's lit up behind me. It shifts your personality. It shifts your perception, everything about you. And I just want to repent right now because I fear the fear of God. I feel the fear of God right now. I feel the holiness of God and I want to repent. And I just want to turn my face back to Jesus right now. And I went to heaven and I have a ministry. But I repent every day because what happens is, is when I encounter holy fire, it causes me to want to turn and do the right thing, even when my body and my mind are working against me. And that's for somebody out there. If, if you are encountering anything right now in, in the area of temptation, just remember that your character is more important to God than your comfort. At times you're going to feel uncomfortable, but the fire is burning out all the chaff. There's many people right now that are experiencing this fire. They're thinking they did something wrong, but they're not. God is burning out the dross, all the impurities out of their life. So, so that you can have your own experiential knowledge with God. Let, it, let the fire come. Say that at home and here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let the fire come. All right, Kevin. Oh. You told me the, an angel just started talking to you. Yeah. And how are angels involved in the holy fire? Well, they actually behold the face of our Father that's in heaven. That's what Jesus said. Don't do anything to these little ones because they're, they're, uh, they're angels. The, the children's angels always see the face of their Father in heaven. Well, the angels report back, but when they do, they energize. They, I saw them coming to the throne. They were catching on fire and energizing and then coming back and standing beside people and helping them. So angels come and they grab us. They're expediters. They come to grab us and to take us into what God has for us. So they know our books. They want to implement them. That's what's happening right Excuse now. Excuse me, a little translation. Our books, are the, we, there's a book on everyone in heaven, your entire life. It's all for good. Yeah. But because of us and the devil and the world, the thought of us miss all that good. So the angels want to help us accomplish the good in our books. Yes, and so the shift has already happened for the move of God. Just so you know, the move of God, this last end time glory revival has already started. But it's more than just a revival because the glory of the Father has come. Now, when the Father comes into, into our lives, we are one with Him, which means we're one in purpose. And we benefit just as Jesus benefited. This is all in John 17. When the angel, when he shows up like he does in my meetings, everything goes into this, this hyper, like a hyperdrive. In other words, it goes up a level. And all of a sudden... I've seen that in your meetings. Yes, and all of a sudden you've seen witches come up and repent. You've seen demons flying out of witches. Well, you know, that just doesn't happen. They, they usually come to disrupt the service. Okay, 
other things are going to start happening. Um, right now, like there's people right now, he's telling me that they're watching this show, that they're being healed. There's all kinds of problems that are being healed in, in people's backs and necks right now. And not only that, there's, there's a lot of cancer patients. There's a lot of people with cancer. Right now, the, the tumors are, are starting to dissolve. I, I, I know where you're going to get reports, Sid. This is because we have to speak from the other realm. We were healed. That means we are here. Kevin, when you were in heaven, you talked about a sapphire floor. You saw rooms. This was the throne room. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the sapphire floor. I was, I was really surprised, Sid, because uh, I, I had to look up the scriptures, but I did see this sapphire. It was really, really blue, but it was being lit up by flames, and they were white flames. So I was standing on the, on the floor because I had walked on it, and the Lord stopped me. He said, he said, oh, this is only if I bid you to come. And I said, well, Lord, you know, I'm, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You, 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 you were taught that. Yeah, and I, I started to say, it. say all those scriptures. I'm holy as you're holy. And he said, oh, no. He said, this sapphire floor is not, is not positional. This is relational. He said, Enoch can walk on this floor. He said, because Enoch walked separate in the fear of the Lord and in holiness. So, so when you confess the scriptures, you, uh, that is called pos positional? Yeah, well, you, you adhere to what Jesus did for you on the cross. That's, there's a positional righteousness. Okay. He bought us by it's his blood. It's a true statement. Mm -hmm, it sure is. Okay, but what, in order to walk on that floor, you said it has to be... Relational, and he said, he said, many will come to heaven and never be able to walk on this floor because they did not fear me and they did not walk separate from the world. It surprised me, Sid, because I was taught by the best on my position in Christ. But I realized that he said, Kevin, he said, many that day will come. And I will say to them, I never knew you. And he said, they will say, I cast out devils. I healed the sick. Uh, you know, and uh, he said, those people believed in me, but they didn't walk with me. And um, tell so- me, Tell me about the white fence. Well, this is what he took, he took me next. Uh, we walked outside. We, we were accelerated out to where it was, uh, it looked like where the spirit realm ends and it goes into the physical realm. And at the end of, of the, where the spirit ends, and then there's like a membrane, and then there's the physical realm. realm. And they're, they're, because of the fall, um, it's separate now. On that was a white fence, and it was, it was symbolic. There was a white fence, and there were all these Christians that were on the fence. And I said, what is this fence? And he said, well, he said, my, this is my people. He said, my people are asking, how close can I get to the world and live in the world and still get to heaven, when they should be asking me where the hottest spot in heaven is, which is the sapphire stone, which is mentioned in Exodus 24.10. God came down on the mountain with the sapphire stone. And he had a tear in his eye, and he, he, was, he said, I didn't hang on a cross and suffer and die for the fence. I, I hung in and I bought my, 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 got my father's people back so that they could walk on the sapphire. Now, this is, this is what I got when I read the Bible with no religion. I got what he's saying. But so it's anyone can read the Bible and get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So why is that not even mentioned? Why, why, why is it say a prayer with Billy and you'll go to heaven and they don't say live like the world, but they don't say live in biblical holiness. Right. Well, I saw, I saw, Sid, when I was in heaven, I didn't want to come back because I saw the spirit of this world is very strong. In fact, Sid, it's just like in a stream. If you're not, if you're not swimming, if you're just like neutral, you're going downstream really fast. It, if we are left to ourselves, we, we get into trouble. The, the whole spirit of this world is meant to go towards chaos, go towards destruction. Death um, is, 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 is imminent in our body, but we don't, if we're born again, we, sh we don't ever die. We die physically, but we, we always will exist with God in heaven because of the born again experience. So down here, we're supposed to be ruling and reigning. We're supposed to be swimming upstream in the power of the spirit. And, and that's what, the, that's what the, the Lord died for. The Lord died for that. He okay. died to flip it on the devil. Tell he wants me, to flip the whole real thing. Real quick, tell me about uh, uh, another room, the uh, 
the gold, the room with the gold glory cloud very quickly. Okay, so he, he, he quickly ushered me down a hallway back in the building again, off to the side, on the left side. He, there was a hallway with many doors. We, we went down about five or six, maybe seven doors, and went in there. And there was nothing on the door to label it like the rest of them. Well, when I got in there, the glory cloud was in there. And there was, it was so thick that I could see Jesus about five feet from me, but I couldn't see the floor. I couldn't see the ceiling. There was no furniture that I could see. And I felt such acceptance in that room, such love and acceptance, one, with God. And I, I started to cry. And I said, Lord, what is this? And what, he said, when you stepped into this room, you stepped into our Father's heart. And I was, I was valued. I was, I was loved. And... It's interesting to me, it took years after that experience before I experienced that again. It happened with me and my wife just a few months ago. Did she go to heaven? No, we were in our living room, and I always told her about this because it's the most special thing because, you know, you've been on the sapphire stone. So you provoked her to jealousy. Yes. I know what you were doing. I, I've <laughs> seated, I was, I was seated, I seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. I sat there with him. I was on the sapphire stone, but this room was beyond anything. It was full acceptance of the Father. I was fully accepted in the Father. And I was telling my wife about this, and one morning while we were sitting there praying in our chairs, the glory came in so strongly, and I said, Kathy, this is the room. And we were both weeping under the love. It was the love of the Father for, that he has for us. I was made in his image, Sid. We were all made in his image. And he bought us back. And that is the true salvation. That's what the church needs to walk in right now. That's where now, God, that's Yeah, where I understand going. that presence stayed in your apartment for weeks. Yes, it went on, it went on, uh, it went on for a couple of weeks. And then when we started to go uh, to other countries, for, we, were, we were in Switzerland. The Lord did something in Switzerland that has never stopped. And uh, the, the meetings, would we would break for two, three hours. We'd come back, and the people would still be there in their chairs. They would never have left. Uh, it, in Australia, we went there afterwards. Uh, they were still singing the same song. I'm going to have you release that later. But in order for you to receive, yeah. I want you to lead us in repentance right now. I'll repeat after you. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you as we all come before you right now in the name of Jesus, we repent of everything that we have done against you, Father, anything that we have neglected. And Father, we repent right now. Father, we repent. Just say it. We repent we in repent. the name of Jesus. In the name we of have Jesus. not focused on you, Father. We have not focused on you, And we turn you, our face back towards you. And we turn our face and back we, towards you. And we, Lord, ask that, that forgiveness for this country. And Lord, we ask for forgiveness for this country. And we speak it out into, over this country. And we speak it out over this country. We call this country to repentance. We call this country to repentance. And we thank you, Father, we walk in your fear. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We thank you, Father, we walk in your fear, the fear of the Lord, the beginning of wisdom. Amen. Amen. Now, my, my next guest is a very accurate prophet. He's visited heaven many times and is assigned, you get that word, assigned by God to teach you how to walk in end time authority. That is third heaven authority. It is the game changer. Next. We will return with more of our special presentation of Releasing Heaven Now in just one moment. During dental surgery, Kevin Zedai died on the operating table. He had an out-of-body experience and found himself standing on the other side of the veil with Jesus in a heavenly visitation that forever changed his life. This encounter and many more heavenly encounters have propelled his ministry into new dimensions of power, activation, and impartation. Now Kevin wants to share with you how to access heaven and experience a new wave of healing, miracles, signs, and wonders in your life and for others around you. Call now and get Kevin Zedai's anointed brand new five-part audio CD teaching, Releasing Heaven Now, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3522. 
through Kevin Zedai's brand new five-part audio CD teaching series, Releasing Heaven Now. You will understand what holy fire from heaven truly is and why you need it. Discover the connection between accessing God's holy fire and holy angels. Find out the significance of the sapphire floor in God's heavenly throne room and what is in store for you as heaven is released now in your midst. Enter with Kevin into the heavenly throne room of the Father's heart. Discover a more powerful revelation of the Holy Spirit and how to access every promise God has for you. Understand the keys on how to live from the secret place and how to receive your healing, your miracle, your breakthrough. Kevin will further share with you how God's glory is going to come upon every believer in these end times, how to receive all the things Jesus has obtained for you so that you can walk in His authority to defeat demonic strongholds in your life, how to position yourself to be a vessel to do the works of God the Father and show forth His glory, how to experience healing and help others to receive it too, how to operate in self-deliverance, how to bring every thought captive through the renewing of your mind, how to clearly hear God's voice and fulfill God's divine plan for your life. Kevin prays anointed prayers over you for a baptism of holy fire, for heaven to be released in your life, for you to clearly hear God's voice and receive His direction. The Lord is saying, I'm, I'm shining my face upon you because I'm smiling at you, and I am pleased to help you and to give you all that you would ever want or need because I am your God and I bless you. And the Father says, you just trust in me, yield to the Spirit, and I will take you to places that you never even imagined you could go. Don't miss out on getting Kevin Zedai's anointed brand new five-part audio CD teaching, Releasing Heaven Now, exclusive for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3522. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 3522 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. And now, back to our Releasing Heaven Now TV event. Okay, I, I, I do this a lot. I protest, and that's the Jewish person that believes in the Messiah's right, because the Gentiles is to provoke us to jealousy. And Mike Thompson's first time I've met him in person mm -hmm. uh, is provoking me to jealousy. He has a proven prophetic ministry of some 40 years. Uh, he uh, goes to heaven frequently as angelic visitations, what, maybe a couple times a week. Are there any mm -hmm. angels on this set that you see? Many. Many? Yes. I like that. Yes. I'll explain that later. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, you move in miracles. The angels have much to do with the miracles you move in? Uh, yes, they do. Very often they give me words of knowledge and word of wisdom. They help empower. Yeah. Okay. April. 2016, you had an angelic visitation about a man that was not president. His name was Donald Trump. Tell me about that. It was during a prayer meeting. A lot of my visions happen when I'm praying, speaking in tongues. That's a good and time for them to happen. There you go. <laughs> I was with the group, and in the middle of the prayer meeting, an angel appeared, and he spoke to me, and he said, that the dogs of hell have been released against the one with the hand of the Lord on him. And while that was happening, he showed me Donald Trump's face. This was during the primaries. He wasn't even mm -hmm. the nominee yet. Huh. And he said, pray against the spirit of false witness, hatred, and murder. Speak truth and, at and justice into the atmosphere, and we, the angels, will break their spiritual teeth, meaning the authority of those dogs of hell. False witness, the fabrications, the lies, um, hatred, the visceral, hatred, detestation, murder. It wasn't just uh, like an assassination plot, although I prayed against that. It was character assassination at every turn of the way. I, I believe that we are witnessing before our very eyes. I often wonder how Hitler's Germany could pull off what they did. But we are watching the dumbing down and the brainwashing of society through the media That's and through right. the education system. And it's about time, if you have been watching the 90 plus percent negativity about our president, 
if God has put him in office, take a look at some of the good things. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's it. That's right. Anything else you want to add on that? Well, just about the anointing. The anointing, the hand of the Lord is on him. It's about anointing. It's not about character. That's it's where people miss it. Right. And that's so important to understand that because anointing is about everything in the spirit realm. Anointing is there. And so I always look for the anointing in everything that I do. Yes. So it's still on him. Now, the, the reason I've, I've, I'd never met you, but I read about your experience uh, in 2010, uh, and you were mm -hmm. caught up into the third heaven. Now, for those that are not aware, what is the first, what is the second, and what is the third heaven, Mike? Well, my belief is that the first heaven is a stellar heaven, the physical universe. The second heaven is a spiritual atmosphere around us in which the activity of spirits, which would be demonic, angelic, human, um, happens. And that third heaven is actually the throne room of God. And so that was where I was caught away. And tell me, tell me what you saw, especially this, this whole concept of third heaven authority. Well, the Lord took me up, and as I was rising, I was in a prayer meeting, by the way, again, and as I was rising up above through the building and then through the atmosphere, I saw a bunch of dull lights representing lack of glory, so then I knew they were demonic spirits that prayer warriors were going against. I found myself in the throne room of God, and as I was standing there before the throne, I could see Jesus, I could see angels. Now, why do, de why do demons have dull lights? Lack of glory. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in the spiritual realm, very often I can tell what God's will or whether it's angels and so forth, whether the presence of the glory or the lack of the glory is mm -hmm. there. And so as I was standing before the Lord, the very first thing that I noticed is an absolute lack of any sense of condemnation, guilt, accusation, fear, intimidation, any of those things that we experience on the earth. And it caught my attention so said that what I did is I just kind of in the inside of me, I said, Lord, is this what it's like to be a new creation in you? Is this what you created me and all of us to be? And it was real. I felt the love, acceptance, and value of, the, of Jesus right there. But then he spun me around. And as I looked down, it was like an open portal. And I could see all the way down to the earth. And I could see those dull lights above the, demons. the prayer meeting, the demons. And, but up above where they couldn't see from below was this large dull light. And the Lord said, that's the general that's in charge of the geographical location. And the others take their order from him. And then he said something. And as he was speaking to me, because I had my back to him, I could hear him the words coming into my back, into my being and resonating. And he said, launch your warfare from here. From the third heaven from rather the third than heaven. the prayer meeting you were in. Not from below up, okay. but from above down. I see. And because of the absence of all of those other factors, the hooks that are in us on the earth, the first thing that just of course, you betcha I'm going to do that. I'm going to tear him a new one. You know, it's, it's just... It's, it's, it's really, if I'm hearing you right, it's a revelation in perspective. It's yes. shifting your perspective. But that comes from That's Ephesians. Right. Explain that. Yes, it does come from Ephesians because in Ephesians 1 and 2, it says that Jesus has been raised up high above all, principality, power, might, and dominion. He's been raised up there, and then it says that we're seated with him in heavenly places, in the heaven leaves. And so seated with him there, we have the ability in the spirit, because of the Holy Spirit on the inside of us, to have that perspective, heaven's perspective, to be able to look down and to see, see the form of the Lord, see uh, the ways of the spirit, and to prophetically be able to see what the Holy Spirit is telling us to do and to deal with in different situations. And so it's are, not are, from the earth up. You talk about 
righteousness consciousness. How does that fit in? Well, Hebrews 10 talks about sin consciousness and righteousness consciousness, awareness. Mm -hmm. And I believe that as Christians, a lot of times we're trained to look on a linear level or to look up. You look up to God. You look mm -hmm. up and you deal, trying to pull down. Yeah, if you say, if I said to the group here, pray, what would I, instinctively a lot of people do? Like that, look right. up to heaven. Exactly. And uh, what I experienced, so I felt like the Lord, well, actually the Lord told me while I was there that that's sin consciousness. Now, I'm not saying that believers can't be effective because mm -hmm. they can be in tremendous ways. But if you're constantly looking up, trying to find a way to break through or to get to heaven, there's that awareness of sin of the flesh that holds you back. When I was there that day, and he told me to launch my warfare from there, looking down was the absence of that. It was righteousness consciousness is from heaven down. Mm knowing who we are in the Lord Jesus Christ, seated with him in heavenly places. What else did you see on that trip? Well, as I, I heard the words come into me, and I just released them, and I said, in the name of Jesus, I dislodge the assignment that uh, you have, speaking to that general, and I also break the power of the strategies, the communication system, the structure that you've enabled with them. And I saw um, disharmony into the camp. And when that happened, every time that I would give the faith command, there was authority that was coming. Mm -hmm. Boom, an angel would shoot from my right and my left and go down and hearken unto the word and in order to obey it. So when I, after this was all over, I stayed there for quite a while, and the Lord taught me about the involvement of angels in spiritual warfare, and also about how the, they have the creative ability to help us to create destiny and things for us. And then the Lord spoke to me, and he said, uh, there's coming a time, now this was 2010, so the next decade I witnessed this, he said, there's coming a time when the veil between the spirit and the natural is growing thinner. And there's going to be a lot of experiences. People are going to be having spiritual experiences. And so therefore, I am giving you the assignment to teach people third heaven authority so that they will not be deceived by the spiritual experiences that they're having. That's why I preach it. Now, you were commissioned to do that. What did the Lord yes. tell you? Yes. He said, go back. And he said, your assignment from now on is to teach people how. Show them how to navigate the heavenlies. Is this for everyone or just generals? Just oh, real everyone. big prayer? Everyone? Everyone. What difference will it make in their prayer life? Uh, change it forever. It'll increase their sense, their awareness of who they are in the Lord Jesus Christ and how to combat uh, the destructive demonic influencers and forces in a way that they can do it with confidence and anointing. Uh, you, you had a vision of God's prophetic time clock. Yes. What did God show you? Well, on January 31st, uh, just weeks back, the Lord took me into the heavens. Now, preceding that, let me just mention that in 2013, Michael the war angel in the heavenlies Told, showed me the coming revival and how to gather intercessors and to pray for that time. Well, during this clock vision on the 31st, uh, in the heavens I saw this huge clock and it was kind of flat-faced and the Spirit grabbed me and pulled me Excuse into me, the that, was, that was of this year? That, yes, this year. Okay. Just a few weeks back. He pulled me into the, the face of the clock through the second hand and as soon as I went into the clock, I saw multi-dimension of perhaps millions of second hands representing God's time clock in multitude of affairs on earth. And while I was there, I noticed, uh, well, actually the Lord began to speak to me. One of the things is he said, the thread of time that is called Donald Trump will not come to an end today. 
Now, this was during the Senate trial, in the middle of it. The impeachment. I, the impeachment. I knew that he was telling me, number one, that he wouldn't be impeached. Number two, I believe, even though he didn't frame the words, that it means that he will win the second term. But he said, it's not coming to an end. It's not what? It's, it does not end now. It continues. He said, there are other threads of time that are in relation to those who oppose him and oppose my hand that is upon him and my will and destiny for America. He said, pray for them because their souls are in my hand. In other words, pray for their salvation. Continue to pray for their deliverance. When you talk about praying from the third heaven, you've had where you've been caught up, but you're saying that we can do that without being literally caught up like you were. What are you saying on that? Explain. You mentioned a word earlier that I think is at the core of all of it. And that is, oh, and I might mention when I was in the clock, I saw the faces of millions of people being born again and coming up. And the angel said, here they come. Here they come with excitement, meaning it's here. It's today. This is it. This is it. Yeah. So what, is, what do you mean for, for me yeah. and in my prayer if I don't get caught up like Paul did in the Bible to the mm -hmm. third heaven, like you do often, what does that mean to me? How do I pray from the third heaven if I'm not caught up? It's about perception. And what I have learned over the years is that so many believers have never had anyone in their life to actually teach them, to train them on how to operate in the spiritual realm. And they think that it's a spiritual experience is God initiated. You know, it's when he comes and performs a miracle. So they're sitting around waiting for that. When spiritual experiences can also be initiated by us. That's one of the things that the Lord told me. Do you teach people. a lot of people how to do this? I do. And do they receive? Do they do it? They do. On different levels, according to... Um, their experience, their knowledge, and, and what they're so, doing. Uh, so if I have you back a little later on the ISN segment, if I have you back, will you teach a little and pray for this impartation? Be my pleasure. Okay. Well, I'm going to be getting it too, people. I hope you are. Now, Kevin Zadai and, uh, and Kathy, his wife, pray in tongues or supernatural languages more than anyone I know. They say it's the secret to their power. They will demonstrate this by interpreting their own tongues and prophesying over you when we return. Be right back. We will return with more of our special presentation of Releasing Heaven Now in just one moment. The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs with this free ISN app. Our world doesn't need another Christian TV network. What the world needs is life-changing programs that have a tangible outpouring of God's presence, and people need to be able to access it whenever they need it, wherever they are. ISN makes it possible to meet you right at your point of need with live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on mobile devices or smart TVs. Or choose from dozens of powerful episodes of It's Supernatural and other exclusive programs in our online library. Just go to your app store and download it for free. Whenever, wherever, God's not limited, and neither is your access to the supernatural of God. And now, back to our Releasing Heaven Now TV event. Okay, I, I have my friends Kevin and Kathy Zadai here, and uh, you've seen Kevin many times. 
but you've never met on television his wife. And so although she's done a few things with Kevin, she, uh, this is kind of her first time on, on something like this. And uh, because they're praying in tongues all the time. For, uh, why, Kathy, do you two pray in tongues all the time? I mean, even just because Paul said he prayed without ceasing, you're trying to match him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or more. I'm actually trying to beat him. Trying to beat him. <laughs> uh, seriously, for th there, there are people watching us that have never been baptized in the Holy Spirit and spoken in tongues and received the fire you're talking about, uh, the Holy Spirit and, and fire. Then there are those that have received the, their supernatural prayer language, uh, but they don't use it much. Why is it so important to pray in tongues, Kevin? Well, first of all, it's a command of the Lord that we're to yield to the Spirit and we're not to fulfill the lust of the flesh. See, Paul, Paul talks about this in Romans 8. If believers would just live in Romans 8, they, they would do a lot better. So the Spirit of the Lord wants to pray through us, but He wants to pray on our behalf. On our, and He does this by us yielding to Him. It says that in, in verse 26 of Romans 8, it says that in our weakness, the Spirit comes in and grabs us and lifts us up and super intercedes through us the mysteries of God's will. I mean, that's a great deal. You could pray perfect prayers. So it's a really a command of the Lord. And Paul said, you know, I pray in tongues more than you, all of you do. And he was an apostle. So how about us? So we're, you know, we're just, we're just believers, but we can be super interceding for this nation, for this world, for our daily lives. Uh, you know, Kathy and I are addicted to speaking in tongues and praying in the Spirit. We're addicted. To Out of curiosity, when you guys go to sleep, Kathy, does he, do you ever hear him praying in tongues? And Kevin, do you ever hear her praying in tongues? I'm curious. Sometimes, if we're not oh, sleeping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we uh, hear each other. She'll, she'll be talking to Jesus or she'll be talking to someone, and, and, and that I'll wake her up. And, and uh, I, know, I don't know if it's an angel or anything, but... but well, I'm we, having fun. Don't bother. We pray, we pray in <laughs> tongues. We pray in tongues whether we're, we're asleep or awake. We, I, th I believe that we, we speak in the Spirit. Our spirit's always alive. Our, our, it, never, it never sleeps. Yeah, but what about the person at home that's talking back to me right now and saying, Sid, haven't you read in Corinthians, not all speak in tongues or supernatural languages? I've read that. They've read that. What would you say? Well, I, I know that Paul was talking about the, gifts, the gift of tongues and interpretation in the church in a physical, in an in a, in a actual setting where there was public. And, and if Paul said, I would rather you prophesy intelligible speech so that everyone is built up than you speak thousands of words in, a, in an unknown tongue with no one to interpret it. But Paul spoke in tongues all the time. So who was interpreting his tongues? You know, so, so there's all kinds of scriptures that can go and show you that there are, uh, is a separate personal uh, praying in the spirit, uh, like, like it says in Jude, we build ourselves up praying mm -hmm. in the spirit in the most holy of faith. That's, that's it. Kathy, you love, you have a special gift and you love to pray for people to be filled with the spirit and speak in tongues. And Kevin told me, just about everyone you pray for starts speaking in tongues. Have you prayed for many? Yes, it started happening um, in our meetings a few years ago. And yeah, it's just been happening, which is a great joy to us because we want everybody to speak in tongues. We believe, as the Bible teaches, that it's for every believer and that you really shouldn't go out without it. Every believer needs to pray in tongues. Now, take me into your home right now. You know, you've got a cup of coffee, maybe, and you're, uh, you're ready to pray. You, you pray together usually or no? Yes. All right, you're ready to pray together. Could you two demonstrate to me what you two do? Is that okay? <laughs> well, well, what happens is, is the, deal, the deal is whoever wakes up first, sometimes it's at 1.30, like, like uh, the last couple of nights it's been 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.30, the Spirit will wake one of My us My wife up. would not like me coming in. Let's pray in tongues at 1.30 in the morning. That's why, that's why I'm married to Kathy. She, <laughs> she, she likes it. it. Um, we, we yell out, whoever wakes up first starts praying in tongues and yells yes really loud and wakes the other person up. 
because we're saying yes to God's will. Right. Then she, when she hears the word yes, if she's the one that wakes up, then she starts praying in tongues immediately as she's waking up. We, we both get up, we're praying in tongues, we go out, push the brew button, and we go out and we- That get, was the brew button. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so we, we sit and we pray in tongues for, for a, a period of time, and then we will talk amongst each other and ask, you know, what, what is the Lord showing us or what, what is it that the Lord's telling us? Should we stay up and do some more? And um, if we start to fall asleep, we do circles around our house, inside okay. our house. I want you to, maybe, I'll, uh, Kathy, I want yeah. you to pray in tongues, and I'd like to see Kevin interpret that. Can, is that putting you on the spot or can, can I? Well, no, that's fine. And, 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 and if it's a prophecy for people, just prophesy to them. It, it will be. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Uh, it will be. Now, if that isn't faith, I don't know what is. <laughs> Thank you, Father. To seal to the Spirit. There's a... <laughs> the Lord says that just as you will see the Spirit of the Lord come on Sid Roth this year, he will go into the next phase of his ministry. Everybody will not be expecting what's about to happen to him. The anointing is going to come on him just as it is going to come upon him. It's a coming upon you this year as well. The spirit of prophecy to prophesy. Ha, ha, ha. You're going to tell the devil. Ha, ha, ha. He's going to, amen. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, yeah, you, just speak what's going on inside of you, Kevin. I'm not going to be a question. <laughs> well, Sid, the culmination of the ages is, is, coming, is coming this year. All the, all the people that have ever labored for the Lord, they're in heaven. Most of them are in heaven. They're waiting for us to finish this up. The, this, the, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, He's saying right now that it's time to go back to Pentecost. But see, they were all in one accord. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to get back in one accord. Then we need to let the, the wind blow. We need to let the fire fall. We need to prophesy. And we need to yield to the Spirit to where people think we're drunk. That comes from the book of Acts. Yes, because Peter had to apologize. He said, these are not drunk as you suppose. Well. Now, they're not drunk from alcohol. No, no, you don't need that kind of alcohol. If you have the spirit of the Lord, the new wine, you do not need any drugs or alcohol. And so the, the, the spirit is wanting to, to, to us to not compromise anymore. It's just, just yield to the spirit and don't worry about what people think. Don't worry anymore, period. Get, just get drunk in the Spirit and be full of the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in hymns and psalms and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. But that is so unlike the world. That's right, and we're supposed to be uh, away from it. We're yeah. supposed to have stepped out and be separate, says the Lord. And, then, and I have another prophecy coming th forth, if you'd like me to speak that right now. Go for it. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, I am coming upon you in power. Yeah. I am coming to you with a word to speak, a word of deliverance to many people, says the Lord. You shall speak and mountains will be removed. This year, you shall see all those things that have been pending. They're coming forth. There's a time coming where you will not be able to speak. Now is the time to speak. Yeah. Speak by the fire. Praise God. This nation is about to turn. This nation is about to turn. You, There's yes. going to be, the history books will show. Thank It'll God. be a big Thank question mark because no one will be able to explain. They thought Thank what they've already seen is, a, is something. You just wait. This, this, this next term of President Trump, it's going to flip everything. Uh, have you seen if he's going to win? Yes. Yes. But see, this is what I saw. I saw that there was going to be great, a great upturn in the fall. I saw, that I saw cars upside down on fire. There were all kinds of riots. People, the, the devil was mad. Why, why would they be rioting? Because they didn't, the devil didn't get his way. And so th you this, mean he didn't want President Trump in office? Right, and President Trump will, will, will be standing there saying, let's make America great, just like he's always said. And they're like, wait, we, we can't kill this guy. We can't get rid of him. 
that the, the devils are going to be upset because this nation is coming back to its for, for the forefathers, the roots of this nation. Now, do, do you two ever speak in languages that someone recognizes? We both have had Tell that. Tell me one, one, one experience. Well, there was, there was a time, there was a time where I, I spoke, I spoke in a language that I didn't know what it was. And then the pastor, uh, it was in an Iranian church and I was just praying in tongues. And then I was speaking by the spirit and I ministered to each one of his, his, the people in his church. But I don't know what I was saying. I was just praying over them in tongues. He was, then I was interpreting those tongues as well. What happened was, is that there was a lady who was not saved who saw the, uh, the, the Farsi language on the sign outside the church and came in thinking that it was just Iranian people. When she walked in, I pointed at her and started prophesying to her. She fell to her knees and gave her life to Jesus, but I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said. But I was telling her to repent and give her life to Jesus. And, and um, this, this kind of stuff has happened to us in, in places like where uh, people have said, you know, you just spoke, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in, in other, like other countries, they've told us, you know, I don't remember exactly what they were, but uh, they said, you know, you just spoke Hungarian or you just spoke Romanian, you know, you just spoke uh, whatever. And um, they could t tell what I was saying. And then when you interpreted your tongues, it was exactly what you were saying in the known language. <laughs> so it was a sign of wonder to us and to those people. Kathy. When I have you two back in the ISN segment, which we'll talk about in a moment, uh, and you pray for people to bap be baptized in the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. uh, what is going to happen? Well, I believe if they will receive, they will be filled. That will they speak in tongues? Yes, they will speak in tongues. And, and, and when Kevin releases the fire, what's going to happen? Well, I just had a vision. Right before you said that, I, I remembered that there's, there's many ministers that are crying out to God right now for the fire. It's, it, they're telling the Lord, I'm either leaving the ministry or you baptize me in fire. And I'm telling you, the Spirit of the Lord says, you're going to get your fire tonight. You're going to get your fire. What will the benefit be for the people that receive the Holy Spirit in fire? The benefit is, is that you walk in the power of the Spirit down here and you don't have to be left to yourself. Like I've said many times, and when we're left to ourselves, we get into trouble. I depend upon the Spirit of God. I do not like it when the, anybody talks against the Spirit of God in any way because He's all I have. Jesus told me if I go back that His next exhale was my next inhale. I live for that, and we need to speak in tongues. We need to walk in the Spirit. We need to, it's like the breath of heaven that we breathe. This is what life is all about down here, Sid. Sid, Jesus told me, if you go back, he said, you'll change a whole generation and you cannot fail. In other words, you could have stayed in heaven. I had the and choice. you had the choice. Yes, but I have never had anyone talk to me like that. He looked right at me, the head of the church, the, the, the I am, said, if you go back, you cannot fail. <laughs> I never had anybody talk to me like that. So on this earth, we're, we're supposed to walk in our authority, but we're supposed to walk in power, which means we got to walk in fire, which means we have to live the crucified life. We have to live in a place that's holy fire constantly. You do that by praying in the spirit. You, yeah. you do continually work your, out your salvation with fear and tremble. Pray in tongues for about 30 seconds and interpret. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Father. Heko krindi ashte vosh ahale ele etni ando uma se kenehe nikoto ne shepe. The Spirit of the Lord says, I've gone before you and I am separating between the enemy's armies that have surrounded you. They are separating and they will gloat, they will not be able to touch you as you walk through. I am causing you to triumph over your enemies. The sword of the Lord has been drawn. Follow me, says the Lord. I always win. Now, when we return, heaven will be released. I know you're ready. We will return with more of our special presentation of Releasing Heaven Now in just one moment.
Call now and get Kevin Sedai's anointed brand new five-part audio CD teaching, Releasing Heaven Now, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3522. Through Kevin Zedai's brand new five-part audio CD teaching series, Releasing Heaven Now, you will understand what holy fire from heaven truly is and why you need it. Discover the connection between accessing God's holy fire and holy angels. Find out the significance of the sapphire floor in God's heavenly throne room and what is in store for you as heaven is released now in your midst. Enter with Kevin into the heavenly throne room of the Father's heart. Discover a more powerful revelation of the Holy Spirit and how to access every promise God has for you. Understand the keys on how to live from the secret place and how to receive your healing, your miracle, your breakthrough. Kevin will further share with you how God's glory is going to come upon every believer in these end times, how to receive all the things Jesus has obtained for you so that you can walk in His authority to defeat demonic strongholds in your life, how to position yourself to be a vessel to do the works of God the Father and show forth His glory, how to experience healing and help others to receive it too, how to operate in self-deliverance, how to bring every thought captive through the renewing of your mind, how to clearly hear God's voice and fulfill God's divine plan for your life. Kevin prays anointed prayers over you for a baptism of holy fire, for heaven to be released in your life, for you to clearly hear God's voice and receive His direction. The Lord is saying, I'm, I'm shining my face upon you because I'm smiling at you, and I am pleased to help you and to give you all that you would ever want or need because I am your God and I bless you. And the Father says, you just trust in me, yield to the Spirit, and I will take you to places that you never even imagined you could go. Don't miss out on getting Kevin Sedai's anointed brand new five-part audio CD teaching, Releasing Heaven Now, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3522. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 3522 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. And now, back to our Releasing Heaven Now TV event. Now, remember, this program is not going off the air because if you go to the free ISN app, the It's Supernatural Network, and for those that are not already watching the ISN network already, go immediately to the App Store on any smartphone, computer, or mobile device. Do it right now. While I'm talking to you, type in my name, Sid Roth, S-I-D-R-O-T-H, then download the free orange ISN app. ISN, the It's Supernatural Network, is our 24-7 online digital network that'll make you normal. That's normal according to the Bible. Okay, now be sure, don't you dare go away because we're going to have Kevin release the fire, Kathy the, release the Holy Spirit, Mike re release the anointing to go to the third heaven. I know, ISN, go to the App Store, type in my name, Sid Roth, and get it because I only have three more seconds. God bless. <laughs> Mike Thompson here, and I am so intrigued, Mike, with this third heaven authority. Teach just uh, five, six minutes or so on it, and then demonstrate how we, me, you, can go to the third heaven. Yeah. All right. 
What I'd like to say to everyone is that, first of all, they understand that they are a spirit that exists, that lives on the inside of a body. Amen. And that spirit man is in connection with the Holy Spirit all of the time, with God, with heavenly things. The book to the Ephesians, in, in my opinion, is what I call the third heaven book. If you read the book to the Ephesians, you find that I believe that it was written about five years after uh, the Corinthian books, particularly 2 Corinthians 12, where Paul was talking about him going to third heaven. Yeah. And so there he said that uh, in the Corinthian text that he heard inexpressible things. But then in the Ephesians, it's my opinion that the Lord released him to actually write the book that talks about many of the things that he learned in his experiences in heaven because I heard the same things that God taught me there. So it's about perception, spiritual perception, learning to not look just through the eyes and the, and the physical senses, but to actually hear the Holy Spirit and begin to walk in that realm to where you can simultaneously observe the things that are happening in the spiritual realm. We call that gifts of the Spirit and many other things. But here's the, here's the thing. Third heaven authority that the Lord gave me that commission was the ability, because he transported me there, the ability to look from heaven down on all situations, to understand that we are with him. Now, what about people who have never gone? And that is where, <laughs> okay, we all have the ability, don't take that in condemnation, let's see what happens. But perception is learning to feel the spirit that's on the inside of you, your spirit man, and the Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of it. Heaven is in you. So even though we can actually go to what I call the third heaven, and by the way, that phrase the Lord gave me, I've never heard it before in my entire life. Jesus told me, teach on third heaven authority, teach this experience. So that I got it from him. And we can do that in stages. The first stage is that you have to be willing. How many of you are willing? Okay. The second stage is that you have to do it on the authority of the Word of God and the Spirit, the Word and the Spirit. Right. Okay, because no authority uh, exists outside of the Word. The third level is that you have to be willing to change perspective. And that is on the inside of you, on the canvas of your heart with everything that's on the inside of you and your being is to be lifted. There's what I call a lifting anointing that comes upon me and upon congregations and people as I'm teaching where they feel this beginning to happen on the inside. You have to be willing to change perspective and to look from a different realm, not linear, but from above down. And then the fourth level is that you have to be willing to let the Holy Spirit give the experience. You have to let go. Let the Holy Spirit carry you and to do whatever he wants to do. Mike, because of time, I need you to pray that happen with us right now. Let's do it. So right now, I want you to close your eyes. At home, that's you too we're talking to. That's right. I want you to close your eyes right now, and I want you to let the Holy Spirit just come upon you, on the inside of you, all over you. Let him provide the experience for you. You don't make it, but let him right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I pray, I pray that that anointing would come upon the people now to shape and to shift their perspective from the outer man to the inner man, from the physical realm to the natural realm. And at this moment, the anointing that is upon me, I release into the atmosphere around each and every person, regardless of where they're at now. Lift them up, Lord, in the spirit now. Lift them, take them into that spiritual realm. Lift them up high above all principality and power and might and dominion. Lift them up, Lord God, now. Change their perspective. Shift it by the anointing so that at that moment that they can see that they are high above all of those things now. They're high above all of the worldly stuff. And they look 
from that perspective down on the situation. They are not beneath looking up. They are above looking down. They are not pulling down strongholds. They are stomping down strongholds. In the name of Jesus, they are not under the circumstances. They are above the circumstances. And from that perspective now, shape it in their hearts. Shape it so that every time they go into the spirit, every time they pray, Lord God, that at this moment that they have that perspective and they are looking down, looking down because they're seated with Christ in heavenly places, not only positionally, but also experientially. In the name of Jesus, let that anointing flow. Angels do it now. Angels do it now. An angel appeared to me and came to me on the plane as I was landing. And he said, I'm going to walk through you and there's going to be angelic involvement that's going to happen as you pray for the people. It's going to come upon each and every one of them in the studio and uh, angels ministering to them, angels to people all around the world right now. Angels are helping you right now because the angelic beings not only help in lifting you up and taking you into the spiritual perception, but they also provide protection for you and empowerment and creative ability right now to flow through you right now in Jesus name, because it's not only about binding the enemy, it's about loosing the creative ability of God and destiny through you. Your destiny in God right now is a loosing that needs to take place. The enemy has a false future for you and it needs to be bound. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release that anointing by the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. When we return, Kevin and Kathy Zadai will release an impartation of heavenly fire. We will return with more of our special presentation of Releasing Heaven Now in just one moment. Prayer is an essential part to access every one of God's promises and blessings for your life. And praying daily in your God-given prayer language is so important in light of the times we are living. Introducing the brand new Sid Roth God Talk app. With this new prayer app, you will be able to set a reminder for when you want to pray. Let others know the time you spent in prayer each day for accountability. Take advantage of our worldwide prayer app community to lift your prayer requests to God. It includes a video teaching on how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and how to effectively pray the supernatural language that God has given you on a daily basis. Watch our TV archives and ISN, our It's Supernatural Network, to build your faith to believe God for the impossible. The app is free and available for iPhone, iPad, or Android devices. Just go to your device's app store and search for Sid Roth's God Talk. And now, back to our Releasing Heaven Now TV event. Okay. <laughs> no, I won't go there. It's too dumb a joke. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, Kevin uh, and Kathy, I promised the people that you would pray for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, releasing tongues, and you would pray for the impartation of the holy fire. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to turn you loose. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> and then, hey, hey, at home and here, uh, I want you to know, at here, I can tell if you're not participating, and I may walk up, right up to you, <laughs> right in your face. At home, you don't know how the supernatural works. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so you want me to go first? Okay, so um, let's just all pray together, and there's also going to be people on TV. Um, everybody who ever watches this show, pray along with us. Um, just let's raise your hands. And, and I'll repeat after them, and you say it with me as I repeat it. Okay, and just um, bottom line is just like Jesus has already died, the Holy Spirit has already come. So it's like a Christmas present. He just wants us to receive. And so, Father, we thank you for sending the Holy Spirit. Father, we, we thank, thank you for thank sending you the Holy Spirit, Spirit, Father. And we thank you, Jesus, for dying and making a way. We thank you, Jesus, for dying and making a way. 
And so, Lord, we receive. And so, Lord, we receive. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. With evidence of speaking in tongues. With evidence of speaking in tongues. And now I'm going to pray for you, Lord. I pray for my brothers and sisters, Lord, that um, you release their tongue and fill them to overflowing with the Holy Ghost and with fire in Jesus' name. And just a simple instruction, it says in Acts 2, 4, they began to speak as the Spirit gave them utterance. So it's a partnership, just like a baby who learns how to talk. He has to open, he or she has to open his mouth. So let's all pray together. Salakura eshene konongo rashere olavoro borava shenekete soto borava basara borro soto salabono zabala borra baba basa sa. If you've never spoken, just make a sound. Salahala kedieto. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And now you can all stop because I know we have. Um, some of us could go forever, but I know that um, Sid has a certain amount of time, so let's all stop. Uh, let's stop. Let's, let's stop. stop if you can. Let's everybody stop, because you can start and stop. It's not something where you're gonna, ever going to be out of control. It's you have uh, the Lord's given you control. So what, what, do we, what if you say to someone, well, I didn't hear it, so I didn't say it. What if someone says to you, I didn't hear it, so I didn't say it? Right. Well, you just partner with the Holy Spirit. And you might invite something, if somebody, if you didn't get it like right now, and you're like, don't be discouraged, you can go home and actually how I received a loan in my own room. Except and, I'll give you a clue. If you will say it, you will hear it. Yeah. If you're waiting to hear it, you may never say it. Yeah, and just don't Well, say what it. do I say? Perfect, if you know what to say, it's not unknown, is it? So, but if you don't start speaking, and as Kathy said, cooperating with the Holy Spirit, nothing will happen. Direct them one more time to pray in tongues. Okay, so let's go again. Let's just yield to the Holy Ghost. And those of you who haven't spoken yet, say any sound, just not a word that you know. Just prime the pump, so to speak. Calamondo borraba, samondo borraba. Do it quickly. Borraba, saborre bebe. Thank you, Father. Alamondo ramamande ke la borra she ha ha ha. Holy fire. Tongues of fire. Tongues of fire. More Lord. More Lord. Ha ha ha. Borra she be. Borra shavo. Borra neke. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Shamorra mama, shamorra baba, shamorre bese corroso. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kevin, Kevin, I want you to pray for the baptism of the Holy Fire. Fire. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you came to baptize in the Spirit and with fire. Yes, thank and you, I thank Lord. you that the same fire Holy that's Ghost burning right fire. before you right now yes. at the altar, the yes. same fire that's on the Hello. sapphire floor, the same yes. fire that's lighting up the seraphim's wings, thank right you, now, yes. we receive that fire yes. in the name we of receive. Jesus, fire! Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Fire! We see the fire. Fire! Ha, ha, ha. Whoa! Fire! This is permanent. This is a fire that does not go out, says the Lord. Receive the fire. Yield to the fire. This is the beginning of your life. Where you end and I begin, says the Lord. It begins with fire. Yield to the fire. I have this. I have this. I have this scroll in my, my hand that is written about you. I'm opening it. It's a good report. It's one that you yes. will succeed at. You will prosper. Everything you put your hand to do. The Lord's saying, I have plans for you. Yes. They're good plans, plans for you to prosper. And fire is your friend. Yes, embrace the fires. Fire, 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 Jesus. Fire. Thank, Thank you, Father. You. Uh, if the two of you can stand, and Mike, if you would join us, Mike Thompson. Mm. Okay. And uh, 
Just, just do what you were going to do, Kevin. You started to do something. <laughs> I just can't stop prophesying. Go, go, go. go. <laughs> The Lord says, why are you waiting for the fire to fall? Why are you waiting for the plans that I've already given you? I have been working with you. I have been speaking to you in the spirit. You are listening in your head. I am talking to you in your spirit. You're doing better than you think you're doing. Yield to the spirit. I impart the fire of prophecy. Prophesy. Prophesy to your world, says the Lord. Prophesy yes. my word. Yes. Make the mountains move. Yes. Make the devil scream. Yes. Chase him out of town. Yes. Drive him out. I break the power of the enemy over you. In Jesus' name. And I command you to be healed. I command you to be healed. Cancer must go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I, I command cancer, Jesus any kind name. of mental sickness, you go, Jesus mental name. fog, you go Jesus in Jesus' name. name. Yes, in Jesus I name. drive you out, Satan. In Jesus' name. I drive you out. Be healed. Fire. Prophesy to your world, says the Lord. Prophesy to your world. Prophesy. Call those things that are not as though they were. Speak to your mountains. Believe that you receive and you shall have it. Everybody lift your hands right now. The other realm is handing out all kinds of provision, healing, financial, emotional healing right now, deliverance. Reach out. The Lord is walking through us right now. He's here. I release you. This is permanent. Thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, spirit of prophecy. Prophesy. Come on. Prophesy. And as you prophesy, I know that the Lord told me that angels were here. Yeah. Angels are here. They'll speak to you right now. Yeah. I know it's the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit directs the angels. Yeah. And so the angels speak to you. What do you hear right now? Prophesy out of your spirit. Yeah. Prophesy your future. Prophesy your destiny. Prophesy right. who you are in Christ. Prophesy the things that God has placed in your heart right now. Prophesy your future. Bring it into reality right now. Right now. Let it come forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I see people that are being moved by the Spirit. You've never felt, the, some of you have never felt the Spirit move like that before. And it's about time that you did. Because this is who you were created to be. Yes. And, be uh, and as you were created to be a child of the living God and that spirit on the inside to lift you up and to motivate, it will carry you into places. Right now, yes. It will carry you into your destiny. And it's time. It's destiny time. There are healings. Healings. Many people are being healed in your heart right now, in your back, in your hips your extremities because of poor blood flow. In the name of Jesus, it's leaving right now. There are a multitude, there are thousands of areas that the Lord is touching people all around the world right at this particular moment. It's up to you to receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord's a warrior and he's singing over you. He's singing songs of deliverance over you. Oh, this is your night. This is your night. Receive. The Lord is a warrior. I release the finances. I break poverty in the name of Jesus. I release those finances. You go to your proper place. I command all finances to come in the name of Jesus to finance 
the gospel of Jesus Christ oh, yes. to this world. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. I loose yes. every yes. devil yes. that has your finances. I command you to let go in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Now! Jesus name. This is permanent. Jesus name. This is the heritage of the children of the Lord. Yes. To live free. Thank you, Father. To live and move and have our being Thank in Him. You, Father. And be free. Thank you, Father. This is permanent. Thank I'm going to visit you, your house, says the Lord. Thank I'm going to wake you up at night. Yes. And we're going to talk. Yes. We're going to talk about your future. Yes. We're going to get up in there. Yes. We're going to mess up the devil's plans together. Yes. We're going to talk yes. in the secret place about your future and how the devil is going to back off. I got plans for you, says the Lord, plans for you to prosper. Everything that you set your hands to do shall prosper. Everywhere you walk is yours. The Lord says, don't be bashful. Don't hold back. It's time. Yes. I release this nation yes. back to God. Yes. In Jesus I release name. this nation yes. back to God. I drive out all sickness, all disease in Jesus' name. I drive it out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Many, many are being healed right now. Many people are being healed right now. Yeah. Kevin, I see fire in the spirit right now. Fire, fire that you were talking about. Fire, flames of fire. Angelic, angels that are flames of fire, but also tongues of fire on the heads of people, millions of people. And the Lord says that this is the day that he has chosen for that fire to come forward for the greater works. Yes. There is a time right now that's being released where the anointing, the anointings that have, have been upon the earth and have moved through the body of Christ in times past, but have waned because people haven't walked in. He said, it's time for the culmination of all of those anointings to begin to be released for this miraculous time. For this is the greatest harvest that the earth yeah. has ever seen. And he says that it's time for you to receive that right now because it will raise you up and lift you up into those high places of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, I'm going to give you signposts along the way. I'm going to confirm my word to you. I'm going to give you signposts. They call it that my friend Keith, Keith Ellis calls it kisses from heaven. Signposts. God's going to give you signs that's going to show you that you're right on the right path. Yeah. He said, I'm going to be with you. But he said, when I come to your house and I wake you up, you better get up and talk to me, says the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. <laughs> okay. The healing anointing is really strong. Oh. In the wrist, if you have a wrist problem, just start moving your wrist. If you have a knee problem, just start bending it. In, in faith, you have a hip problem, uh, you, you'll find that when you walk, the pain is, is all gone. Uh, you have problems in your feet. Your feet are being healed right now yes. in Jesus' name. Arches are being restored right now. Backs are being restored. The pain is totally gone in your back. The neck is being healed. The, all pain in your neck is gone. And I keep hearing the word deliverance. Didn't you tell me, Kevin, what did God tell you about deliverance? Yes, yeah, so the, spirit, the spirit of deliverance is driving out the devil right now. The spirit of deliverance. It's a spirit. The, the angel of the Lord is driving the devil out. I'm telling you, I saw, I saw angels drawing swords and the devils were leaving people. Because that's, that's one of the things I shared with you a little bit earlier. When the angel came to me as we were coming into Charlotte, he came to me. And he said, there's going to be angels that are going to be released through the program because of this higher dimension that people need to go. And he said, it's an angel of deliverance to prepare, pe to propel people into yeah. the greater happening, the work of God. Yeah, yeah. The Messiah said, you will do the same works I have done and even greater. This global glory is being released throughout the whole earth. And there's a reason for it, because God wants 
everyone yes. to know him. He doesn't want anyone to go to hell. It was never his plan for humans to go to hell. So if you do not know him, I want you with your mouth to yes. repeat after me. I believe. I believe. Jesus died for my sins. Jesus died for my sins. And because of his blood. And because of his blood. They're totally washed away. Totally washed away. And as of this moment, as of this moment I have no past. I have no past. I just have a wonderful future. And now that I am clean, I ask Jesus to come and live inside of me. I make you my Lord and Savior. I want to have experiential knowledge of you. I want to fulfill my good book of life. I want to fulfill my good book of life. I don't want to miss a beat. I don't want to miss a beat. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Get on your feet and worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ha, 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 Call now and get Kevin Zedai's anointed brand new five-part audio CD teaching, Releasing Heaven Now, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3522. Through Kevin Zedai's brand new five-part audio CD teaching series, Releasing Heaven Now, you will understand what holy fire from heaven truly is and why you need it. Discover the connection between accessing God's holy fire and holy angels. Find out the significance of the sapphire floor in God's heavenly throne room and what is in store for you as heaven is released now in your midst. Enter with Kevin into the heavenly throne room of the Father's heart. Discover a more powerful revelation of the Holy Spirit and how to access every promise God has for you. Understand the keys on how to live from the secret place and how to receive your healing, your miracle, your breakthrough. Kevin will further share with you how God's glory is going to come upon every believer in these end times, how to receive all the things Jesus has obtained for you so that you can walk in his authority to defeat demonic strongholds in your life, how to position yourself to be a vessel to do the works of God the Father and show forth his glory, how to experience healing and help others to receive it too, how to operate in self-deliverance, how to bring every thought captive through the renewing of your mind, how to clearly hear God's voice and fulfill God's God's divine plan for your life. Kevin prays anointed prayers over you for a baptism of holy fire, for heaven to be released in your life, for you to clearly hear God's voice and receive his direction. The Lord is saying, I'm, I'm shining my face upon you because I'm smiling at you. And I am pleased to help you and to give you all that you would ever want or need because I am your God and I bless you. And the Father says, you just trust in me Yield to the Spirit, and I will take you to places that you never even imagined you could go. Don't miss out on getting Kevin Zedai's anointed brand new five-part audio CD teaching, Releasing Heaven Now, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 3522. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 3522 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. You are watching ISN, the It's Supernatural Network. Prayer is an essential part to access every one of God's promises and blessings for your life. And praying daily in your God-given prayer language is so important in light of the times we are living. Introducing